Hi there. In this expert video, I'm going to show you how to tweak this photo to make it look more vibrant. And I'm also going to show you how to work with masks to fix problems with skies, especially when you're using a polarizer on your lens itself. Okay, so I brought a photo into Photoshop. It's a nice photo, but it's dull. So the first thing is let's do an auto contrast. Image adjustments, auto contrast. A little bit better. Um, now let's do a selective edit on either the sky or the sandy grass. And to do that, I have to select one of them. So I'm going to go into quick mask mode. With my black paintbrush, I'm going to just select this ground. And I'm going to make sure I selected everything correctly. Okay, there. Now I'm going to go back into normal mode. And now I have the sky selected, so let me do an auto contrast again. See where that brings us. A little bit better, much better. Let me select the inverse. So now I'm selecting the ground. Let me do an auto contrast. That did nothing. How about an auto levels? Uh, change the colors too much. Okay, um, it's not working, but I know I want it better, so I'm going to manually do a curves. So, image adjustments, curves. I want to make it darker and more saturated, so... There. Move up the highlights a bit, bring down the midtones, make it more contrasty. Okay, pretty good. Let me see what I keep going. Okay, pretty good. Unpreview that. Okay, preview it, much better. Okay, I click OK. And now, some people would be very happy with this photo as it is right now, but there's something bugging me a little bit. And that's the sky is getting darker as you go up higher and higher. And I believe I had a polarizing filter on for this one, and for whatever reason, it wasn't working too good for the bottom sky. It's not as dark as the top. It's unfortunate, but it can be fixed. So I'm going to select the sky now. Okay, now the sky is selected. Now, what I can do is I can go back to the mask and I can actually edit the mask to make it so that I'm changing the bottom more so than the top. And by doing that, if I pull down the midtones, it'll change the bottom part much more than the top. And so that way I'm going to try and make the sky a lot more even in brightness. So let me go back into quick mask mode. Okay. So right now I have the sky, uh, the ground masked out. And now I want to mask out the top and have it taper off to nothing as I get to the bottom of the sky. And a very simple way of doing that is just with a gradient tool. So I'm going to click the gradient tool and I'm going to show you my gradient. I have a transparent black to transparent. So it starts off black and then it gets more transparent until it becomes no effect at all. Okay, so I'm going to use this. And I'm going to start up at the top because that's where the black's going to paint, where my mask will be. And I'm just going to bring it down. So I'm going to click and drag, making a straight line down. I'm going to overshoot it a bit. And now you can see what it did. It made a lot of mask up top and it feathers it down to nothing. Um, I could actually afford to do that a little bit more, so I'm going to make another gradient. Okay. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to go back to normal mode. You can see what's selected mostly. And let me just try an auto contrast to begin with. Unpreview that. Okay, preview it. Instantly, most of the sky is roughly the same brightness now. I mean, naturally as you look up, it's going to be a tiny bit darker usually especially during the normal day, but now it's brought back 
into a lot more of an even color. Let me try that again. Unpreview it. You get that white hazy thing near the bottom of the sky. Preview it. Much closer. And I could probably actually go in and tweak it a bit more. Let me just try it. Let me do a manual adju adjustment of the curves. Uh, bring down the bottom a little bit. Bring down the mid-tones a bit. Right there. Unpreview that. Okay. Still a little bit of a whitey haze near the bottom. Preview it. Absolutely gone. Okay, so I click OK. Select, deselect. And there you go. I had a sky that was very uneven due to the polarizer filter. And by doing a few selective edits, and by doing a tapered mask to make a tapered selection, I was able to edit that very easily. Very, very easily. Let me show you what the original looked like. Okay, obviously dull. Let me go to the auto contrast point. That's what auto contrast would have gave me. And a lot of people would have just left it there. They would have said, okay, nothing better can be done. But then if you look at the final version, big, big difference. Big difference. Everything's more contrasty. Colors are more vibrant. I prefer it like this. I mean, I could have left, lo lived with the white haze as long as everything else was contrasty, but I like this too equally as well. Okay, I hope that was helpful in showing you how to fix skies. Have a good day.